Hello friends and fellow collectors. In this Diecast Emporium video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the new for 2023 Diecast Masters Highline Series 1 to 50 scale CAT 982 Advanced Drivetrain or XE wheel loader. The item number 85685. This loader is among a series, nearly half a dozen or so new wheel loaders that have been released by Diecast Masters in 2023. So if you're looking to refresh your loader fleet in your collection, there is no better time than the present. Okay, this is a Highline Series model, as I've already mentioned, so it comes in the white outer shipping box, which protects the metal tin that the model comes in. Let's remove the box, remove the nylon bag. All right, taking a look at the tin. Again, here's your item number, 1 to 50 scale, Caterpillar. These are adult collectible scale models, not recommended for anyone under the minimum age of 14. There's a picture or rendering of the model itself. Also new for this year, if you look right here, you'll see a QR code. Now these are your new catalog. So if you have your smartphone or your tablet handy, all you got to do is scan this and it'll bring up the current Diecast Masters catalog so you can keep up to date with all the new releases. All right, here's the side. Diecast Masters rear replicas, Highline Series, item number. The back of the tin shows another picture of the loader at work. Actually, quite a nice high-quality photo going up a little bit of a stockpile of rock here. Now, for those interested in the information about the real machine, we have dimensions, specifications, and engine details here. So if you'd like to read more about those, please feel free to pause the video. For the rest of us, we are going to pop a top. Note the absence of the catalog. Again, it is virtual now, but we still have our two favorite finger holes. Stick your fingers in the aforementioned finger holes. Lift up on the black foam rubber. Doing that allows you to see the model for the first time. Be careful what you grab onto. There are some potentially breakable, fragile detail pieces, like mirrors, for example, that could break with some mishandling. So just use a little bit of care when taking the model out of the tin. Once you've done that, there's no assembly to do. The model is complete out of the tin. All right, let's go over the details and decals now. As usual, we'll start out with some of the high-quality decals found on the model. Here's the Cat Modern Hex 982XE. You also have aggregate loader right here, which might be a little bit hard to see on camera, but if we zoom it in, you can just make it out. There's also a anti-slip decal right here, which is very sharp and legible. Moving towards the articulation joint, you have more warning labels right here. And again, the grill work here is simulated by decals, although it does a fairly decent job. Now, the back of the model. I know the nitpickers are going to be all over this, so it's important to point it out. If you look at the cat logo that's used on the radiator or the engine cover, you can see that it is the old cat logo. Whereas it should be, as we've seen on the tin, it should be the modern hex logo seen here. So maybe on the second or third run of these models, hopefully, uh, that is some constructive criticism, no pun intended, that could be suggested to improve these models to get them even more realistic looking. That said, the 982 has a larger counterweight than even the 980. We'll do a comparison of that here momentarily. Moving on to the right side, just like the 980, the cab is different on both sides with the addition of this accessory piece. The handrails are metal and thin, so they really look the part. Your access stairs here are plastic. Looking at the wheel hubs, you can see that the lug nuts are highlighted with some silver paint, and again, that looks quite good in 150th scale. This is an aggregate handler loader, so it has a smooth loader bucket on the front. You can see the absence of teeth. Also, the tread pattern is less aggressive on the wheels than what you would see on a loader that's working in rock environments, typically. There's your forward-facing lights. These loaders as well have the operator figure inside the cab, but he is not removable. Right outside the cab, there is some simulated anti-slip pattering, which you can hear as I run my screwdriver over, uh, over the paint. And the top piece of the cab is plastic, but again, it bears repeating, it is not removable. Let's go over the working features of this model. First and foremost, it is a rubber tire machine, and the rubber wheels do roll well in either forward or reverse. This machine steers by articulation, which you can achieve. And just like its brother, the 980, it seems as though the articulation to the right is a little bit more of a sharper angle than it is articulating to the left. 
As I always like to say, something is a lot better than nothing, and honestly, it's engineered well enough. The rear axle does feature oscillation, while the front axle is fixed and in position, again, as you see on 99.9% .9 of the wheel loaders currently in the world. There are no opening parts. I kind of alluded to that with the uh, cabs, so obviously the doors don't open, the top doesn't come on, and there's no opening service panels on this model. So that leaves us with the main loader functionality. Has it been improved over the previous 982 model? And I'm happy to tell you that at least for the lift height, it is much improved. Let's curl our bucket back. That is also vastly improved. And how about our dumping angle? That has also been significantly improved. So if you have been looking for a newer cat wheel loader, but you didn't necessarily want to get the M series because of some of the limitations in the tooling, this has all been updated and improved. So again, thumbs up there. How about the lower end of things? If you want a carry angle, that also passes the test. Here's a forward looking view of that. And you can even achieve somewhat of a aggressive cut angle if you're going into a stockpile of, uh, let's say, sand, for example. You can do that. All right, what does this look like when it's paired to a couple other 150th scale models? That's what we'll see when we come back. So with this display, it shows what the loader would look like on a low boy trailer connected to a tractor to pull it, of course. Now, the tractor is a Western Star. The low boy is a specialized XL120 HDG. You can see reviews of that set right here at the top right corner of your screen. But what if you wanted to pose the loader loading something, like, let's say, a dump truck, for example? Let's remove the low boy. We'll bring in a Diecast Masters Core Classic Series Caterpillar CT660 dump truck, an infamous and very famous model over the better part of uh, almost two decades now. And again, because of the improved lift height, you can see it soars over the side of the dump truck. You'll have no issues there. You don't even have to cheat by building a loading bench. You can pose them on level ground and get a realistic display. Let's end the video now with a direct side-by-side -side comparison of the new 982 next to the new 980. Immediately, without pointing them out, the biggest difference between the two is the style of bucket that's used. So on the 980, for example, you have a rock bucket with teeth, whereas the 982, you have a smooth bucket with no teeth. Besides a couple other subtle changes, like the rear counterweight, it is much larger on the 982. That's very visible to the naked eye than it is on the 980 as well. Otherwise, they share a lot of the similar, a lot of the same mechanical components, just like on the real machine. And quite honestly, both of these models by Diecast Masters, whether you go with the new 980 or the 982 XE, depending on what display you want, it really boils down to what style of bucket would you prefer. Would you prefer a rock bucket, or would you prefer an aggregate handling bucket or a smooth bucket, as seen on the 982? Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it insightful and helpful to you. If you did, please let me know by leaving a comment down in the comment section below. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.